Now, here's the thing that he did, which may, I'm not sure, be relevant to this case. Did you, Stan, give David any money in respect of that £200 debt? I did. When I come back, I gave him £60 back in cash. Is that correct? He uh, gave me £20 at first. And then? And then £40. So he so did 60, yeah. He did give you £60? Yes, Your Honour. Now, just to give you a sense of what you were trying to do, trying to get in touch with him, let's just have a look at one or two of the text messages you've sent. Don't worry, I'm sorting it. Have you sorted my money out yet? When are we going to the restaurant, like you said? Are you skint now? No, waiting on two payments. Has someone robbed your card? No. What were you doing there, please, Dan? Me? Yes. I was trying to make more time. The thing is, David, yeah. when I say you were miraculous and it's Christmas, tell me how your life has moved on. Um, you got a partner? Yes, yeah, so I've got a wife now, beautiful wife, and she supported me and helped me as well, and it's just, you know, wow. Kids <laughs> yet? Soon. Now, Stan, last Christmas, because you weren't talking to him, you'd had four years of great Christmases with your chosen family, which is the best kind of family. Well, last Christmas I spent in an hostel. You were on your own in a hostel, sir, yes, correct? Yes, I was, Your Honour. No, David. You've got a debt. What's your ambition? What's your dream for this Christmas? You met his wife yet? I have, Your Honour. Bet she's a good thing, <laughs> right? Yeah. Would you like to spend Christmas with David? That's what I'm hoping for this year, Your Honour. David, you bring a claim against Stan and you bring it in contract. And it's very, very difficult. Yeah. It's an agreement between friends which the courts rarely enforce because there's no intention to create legal relations. So consequently, in principle, I really had to dismiss your case. However, at the last moment, evidence emerged in Stan's response which made it absolutely clear to me that he had paid some instalments. That clearly indicates to me that he was satisfied that this was A, a loan, and B, a loan that could be and should be enforced. As a result of that, you are entitled to the full sum that's outstanding. And this court consequently awards you the remainder of £140. That's the award of this court. The next question I've got is a matter for you and your wife, but I think you can answer it. Is Stan going to be able to spend Christmas at your house with your wife this year? Of course. Well then, before we leave court, you've got an order of £140. It's Christmas. Can I at least ask you to shake hands? Do better. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, wife. Thanks. People say blood is thicker than water, you understand? Your chosen family. Don't let this happen again. For more Judge Rinder cases, click here. And if you've got a legal issue yourself, get in touch with us by clicking over here.